Hello there again. I was reading Zero Hedge this morning, which I often do. I am would not call myself conservative. I would call myself libertarian, but that's beside the point. So I found this article mapping the world's longest nonstop flights. Over the weekend, Qantas conducted a research flight. Qantas never crashed to test human limits on ultra long haul commercial services. So they go and tell you what they're doing. And read it if you want, but I thought this part was interesting. So the world's longest nonstop flights. And you can see them all going east to west, and they're all given the miles and the kilometers. And this Qantas United, apparently United flight, from Houston to Sydney is 1,380 kilometers. And so if you're not on the metric system and you're still in the imperial system, that's 8,574 miles which is a long, long way. Um, so then I got to thinking about that. And, I mean, who knows? I'd love to. It would be kind of cool to see Australia. But if I were the pilot, I would go down to the bottom, come underneath Antarctica. You'd really pop up about here and get over there to uh, Sydney. Seems like it'd be pretty easy. Just shoot down the bottom come right back up you might save yourself five hours you might save yourself I don't know four or five thousand kilometers and I tell you I've never made a flat earth video <laughs> I <laughs> the math is hard there's so much out there and people can believe what they want that's none of my business but when I see something so innocuous and simple as this mapping the world's longest non-stop flights and they may have accidentally shown you that the place is flat even the commenters, don't tell the Flat Earthers about this article. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's something cool. Take a look, comment if you want, and I will see you again. Thanks a lot.